right, let's make our bow hold again, and this time we'll actually play it on the violin or viola. I set my violin or viola on the floor to start so I can use two hands to make a really good bow hold. I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the previous video. My uh, left hand's going to hold the bow, frog pointing to the right, bow hair pointing down. I'm going to shake out my hand and make that llama. Okay? Now the corner of my thumb is going to go right where the frog and the stick meet each other. I'm going to bring the teeth down, lean on my pointer finger, and put my pinky on top. Now I'll hold my bow straight up in the air so it's comfortable in one hand, and I'll carefully pick up my violin or viola, do the same things I've always done. Statue of Liberty, turn it up, put it on my shoulder, jaw on the jaw rest. Now there's two kind of contact points you need to know about. The best place for the bow to drive is right where, right in between the bridge and the fingerboard. So like right here is the best place for it to drive. And then the contact point on the bow is going to be about halfway. Not exactly halfway, but about halfway is a good point for, for your bow to start driving at. So, I'll make my bow hold again. Put my instrument up. I'm going to set the bow on a string, and using my elbow to move, I'm going to make my bow say the same rhythm we did in the last video. Tucka, tucka, stop, stop. Tucka, tucka, stop, stop. Always go down first. Ready? Go. Tucka, tucka, stop. said to use the elbow, not the shoulder. If you use your shoulder, it looks and sounds like this. That doesn't sound very good. So you want to make sure you're using your elbow. If you don't like your sound, maybe try a little more um, weight from your first finger. Your first finger has all the power, so let it push down a little bit more. Ready? Go. Keep working on tucka tucka stop stop on the D string because it's the building block that's going to build almost all of the songs we play in our very first concert. 